Alright, hey everyone. Welcome back to the King of Destruction channel. I know most of y'all are expecting a destruction video on here, but I'm just going to be doing something a little bit different. It's just related to the Arclight theaters, but if you guys didn't know it, at least a month or two ago, Arclight decided to not reopen any of their movie theaters. You know, after being shut down because of the coronavirus. And you know, I liked going to those theaters. Well, this is not what this video is about. Well, for here, it's just a little story of one of the few bad times I've been to this theater. Well, it wasn't really that bad anyway. And that was when I went to go see the recent horror movie that had come out at that time, Lights Out. I was about 16, and this was before I went to Europe for summer. And so, at least a week or two before then, me and my dad decided to go to the movies. And so he decided, well, I'm gonna go see the new Star Trek movie. It was Star Trek Beyond, while I would go see Lights Out. And so, just before I go into the theater, you know, I usually just wait around, because I don't usually like to go in the theater right away. I usually like to go in just after the previews start. And there was a couple there that were going to go see Ghostbusters, and so they didn't even know which theater it was playing in, and they assumed it was the one I was going to go see Lights Out. And the girl asked the employee if Ghostbusters was playing in the theater I was going to go in. He's like, oh no, it's down this way. They went off. Didn't really bother with them anyway. And so I go in. The lights go down, the, the previews start, and this is one of the many reasons why I liked going to Arclight, was just because of the previews. Excuse me for one second. I liked how Arclight only had like three previews, and then it would go straight to the movie. And so, movie started out fine audience was being respectful but it, it was just around the time to where the boyfriend was gonna go out to the supermarket and this was just when the backstory of the antagonist was being explained i think it's diane the ghost diane diana yeah i was right so you have a pretty good memory with some of this stuff even if i don't really know or care much about the film so but anyway, all I remember from that it was just by then in the theater that this one guy was yelling at these girls and just complaining about how they were talking. And I didn't even hear them, but it was just around that point in the film to when he was just talking movie theater tone to the girls like, girls, will you please stop talking? I'm trying to watch the movie. And then I just see him lean back in his seat and then the girls start talking smack and one of them mutters the f word i thought for sure there would just be an argument that would break out in the theater fight or flight mode kicked in and i took it as an opportunity okay should i just stay in the theater and face everything and rise or just forget everything and run but i stayed in the theater i think it was at one point to where a girl got out of her seat just another theater patron got out of her seat and went out where you basically go in and out of the theater just that little exit part the girls just stopped talking i was just still concerned about the situation probably at least a few seconds went by before one of the girls turned around and just gawked at the guy behind him that same kid and he just goes what i quickly shushed him like shh because i was trying to show a bit of courtesy during the movie because obviously you all know that when you go into a movie theater you sit down you pipe down and watch the movie and so i was wanting to show a bit of courtesy for that man anyway even though he was trying to do what was right you know for the girls to stop talking they weren't supposed to and so after i shushed the guy there was this young couple that turned to me they turned around they looked and smiled at me I think they too were embarrassed by the situation 
And that was really about it. There wasn't any other interruptions aside from that one there. And so it was probably about maybe 10 or 15 minutes later that the theater employee came in and just quietly escorted the girls out. A little while later, they did come back into the theater and remain quiet for the rest of the movie. Well, the only assumption by then was they had to have a good talking to just to not talk during the movie. But anyway, they, they just came back in and remained quiet for the rest of the film, only reacting to the scary parts, like screaming at the scary parts of the movie. And so the movie ends, the lights come up, and everybody just files out of the theater except for me because I was usually the kind of guy that liked to see if there was anything worth waiting for after the credits. And so I, I stayed in the theater, and just before the credits were finished, I just decided to take it as an opportunity to go around and pick up some leftover trash by any theater goers. And that's when I noticed an untouched bowl of popcorn just sitting in the last row. It was like untouched. Come to think of it, I don't know if it was by the fact that one of the patrons in the theater was too scared of the movie to even touch his bowl of popcorn or it could have been a ghost for all I care and so the credits finish and I leave the theater with the leftover trash and throw it away and pass by the concession stand I'm just like hey looks like you'll you guys will save yourself a couple bucks there's an untouched bowl of popcorn in the lights out theater it was then afterwards, I waited around outside because my dad's movie was still going. And I waited around outside for about an, an hour and pretty much had forgotten about the lights out experience. Even though it was fresh in my mind, I just kind of brushed it off. And after about an hour of waiting, my dad's movie finishes. He came out and then we went back to the house and that was that. Well, however, another strange occurrence is that for whatever reason, there was a baby in a stroller that came out of the theater. I'm pretty sure that family was also watching the same movie. I'm just like, like, seriously? Like, it's just really weird, like, when parents bring babies into a theater, you know? Why even bring a baby into a movie theater when you know it's gonna affect the child's maturation? You know, just its way of develop. It's not only bad for the audiences, but bad for the kid itself, especially when they're young, because if they're too young to communicate, then they won't understand the difference between a movie and reality. Say nothing about that. I mean, I had a similar experience to where I saw Jurassic World. It was about nine o'clock at night, and some parents brought their baby into the theater. I remember seeing the stroller come in the theater and then they went to go sit in the front row and I just couldn't tolerate it. I had my ears clogged the whole movie. And in fact, at one point, the father tried leaving the theater and they ended up going to the fire exit and setting the alarm off, but that didn't stop the movie. And eventually they went over to the corner to where you would go in and out of the theater, just that little exit, and they just stayed there for the rest of the movie. And it was just a few minutes before the movie ended to when they finally left and I was able to unclog my ears and at least watch the rest of the movie. I mean, the baby didn't make too much noise other than just some babble, but it was just not my thing. And so as we were leaving the theater, I was like to the theater usher as I'm passing her by. After some consideration, I decided not to endorse your movie well, because that stupid baby in there. And then that's when there was a couple guys behind me that told me about how the baby sat by them and they had to like switch seats. You know, who could you blame really? And that just about does it for this little video. You know, it was fun while it lasted, you know, just going to the theaters there. I don't know if they'll end up 
replacing it with another theater chain. But yeah, you know, I'll miss it just for what it was. And I'm glad I was able to enjoy it while it lasted. I know my mom didn't really bother with it. Now, I, if there was a specific movie I wanted to see, I wanted to see it at that theater just because of some of those advantages. But my mom just didn't really tolerate it. It was just like, the seats are uncomfortable. But you know what? Nobody's perfect, all right? That'll do for this video. And if you have any similar experience in a movie theater, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, other than that, tune in for some more instruction videos coming along the way. And thanks for listening.